I shouldn't have to say this, but this is not an attack. I will quote excerpts from an article for which you will have the link in the description box. It will be the second link. Since Wesley Mohammed can put uh, the article of somebody else on his blog, notably T.O. Shanavas, I think it's okay for me to quote somebody else's article. Now, for those of you who don't know, Wesley Mohammed claims that the word Abiyad in Arabic, which is the Arabic word for white, he claims that it actually means black. So, before I go on with the quote, I'm curious to know if Wesley Muhammad is able to produce a quote that describes Muhammad ibn Abdullah with the word Aswad, which is the word for black. Now, when I say the word for black, there might be many words for black, but it appears that it's the strongest word to mean black, just like Abiyad appears to be the strongest word for white. But that was just something I was wondering. I'm going to go ahead with the quote. Sahih Bukhari, volume 4, book 56, number 766, narrated Anas. Allah's apostle did not use to raise his hands in his invocations, except in the Istiska, in which he used to raise his hands so high that one could see the whiteness of his armpits. Bayad Ibtai. On being questioned about the appearance of the Holy Prophet by a monk, Abu Bakr said, White in complexion, Abiyad al-Laun, imbued with redness. Next, Ibn Asakir quotes, Bashir al-Abdi says, People came to Umar bin Al-Khattab and asked him about the appearance of the Holy Prophet. Peace be upon him. He said, The Prophet of Allah, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was of white complexion, abiyad alam, imbued with redness. Mushraban Humrah. Next. This is uh, still Ibn Asakir. Narrated Aisha. A black turban, Shimlatu Sauda, was gifted to the Prophet. He put it on and asked, How do you see me? How do you see on me, O Aisha? I said, How beautiful it looks on you, O the Messenger of Allah. Its blackness, Sawaduha, suits on your whiteness, Baidak, and your whiteness, Baidak, on its blackness, Sawaduha. Next, Ibn Tabkatul Kubra, also known as Kitab al Tabakat al Kabir. Jabir bin Abdullah said, The Messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, was of white complexion imbued with red redness. Abiyad Mushraban bi Humra. Next, Abu, Hu Abu Huraria, the Messenger of Allah, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him was of white complexion imbued with redness Abiyad Mushraban bi Humra Next That's Ali He had white complexion his whiteness being imbued with redness Abiyad Mushraban bi Duhu Humra and his iris was black aswad Next Sahih Muslim That's uh, Jurairi He was beautifully white Abiyada Marihan. Next, Ibn Sa'ad in his Tabakat al Kubra narrates from Abu Humaha Humaman that he described about the Messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, as a man of white complexion with red thing in it. Abiyad Taluhu Umra. Next, Umayyid said he heard Anas saying, and he was white, Abiyad, his whiteness leaning to be tan, Bayaduhu ila sumra. Now next, I'm going to quote an excerpt from Wesley Muhammad's article. In Islam, does the color of the Prophet matter? 
So I'm quoting Wesley Mohammed. According to the important Syrian Hadith scholar and historian of Islam, Shams al-Din Abu Abdallah al-Dahabi, in his Syria Alam al-Nubala, quote, When Arabs say so-and-so is white, Abiyad, they mean a golden brown complexion with a black appearance. Al-Hinti al bi hilia Suda, like the complexion of the people of India, brown and black, asmar wa adam, i.e., a clear, refined blackness, sawad al takrur. Now check this out. What he said in the article, of which I'm reading excerpts right, right now, is that here Wesley Muhammad gives the impression that the words asmar wa adam and saud al takrur etc. were also about the Arabs, the description of the Arabs. But here is what Al-Dahabi actually wrote. Quote, when Arabs say so and so is Abiyad, they, they mean a wheatish complexion with slight darkness. Hinti al bi hiliatin sauda. And if it is the complexion of the people of India, they say Asmar and Adam. And if it is of two color Negroes, Sawad al Takrur, they say Aswad. And likewise, everyone whose complexion is overwhelmingly black, they call Aswad or Shadid ul Udma. So understand that in this quote there, you had description about three types of people the Arabs, when they mean Abiyad, then the description for the people of India. And then for the, the well, in general, well, I could say the Negroes, but it says specifically Tukula Negroes, Sawad al Takrur. Okay? And I'm just going to put the quote previously so you can see what happened there. In Wesley Muhammad's quote, you have a dot and you have like the complexion of the people of India, black and brown. And indeed, the way it is presented there, it can be very, very misleading. Very misleading. Now, next. Another interesting quote from Wesley Muhammad on the same article. Quote, the messenger of Allah stretched his left foot such that the blackness of its exposed part, Zahirua Aswad, was visible. But on this article, of which you have the link, the second link in the description box once again, here is the the same event narrated by Sunan Abu Dawood. Quote, when the Prophet, peace be upon him, sat during prayers, Salah, he stretched his left foot such that blackness of foot was exposed. So you can see that if there was blackness in the foot there, it's, it's because of the prayer of the Salat. And so if his foot was, uh, there was some blackness in it, it's not necessarily because of the color, but most probably because of the area where they used to pray, which was on the ground, on the, on the floor. A lot of time mud was involved. Here's a quote that I almost missed. It's uh, from Tirmidhi and this is uh, uh, Rabia bin Abdul Rahman. A, he narrates from Anas, who while describing the appearance of the Holy Prophet said, Quote, and he was neither white as lime, Abiyad al Amhak, nor brown, Adam. So, like I said in the beginning, I'm, I'm quite curious to know if uh, Wesley Muhammad, Dr. Wesley Muhammad, can provide a quote for Muhammad ibn Abdullah that would describe him with the word Aswad. But it really looks so far that his claim of the word Abiyad, meaning black, doesn't hold much weight but it's all good it is what it is everything in due time my name is shaka ndugu kemet my website is afrostyly.com slash english that's www.afrostyly.com slash english my main youtube account is egypt decoded in one word now little groupies please spare me your talk about uh, this unity or whatever uh, when y'all teach that Africans are living the jungle life and black means death and nobody crying so don't cry for because I'm stating some um, because I'm I'm basically making some quotation you're going to have to grow up little little homies okay thank you for listening